Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video, we are taking a look at AMD stock. Well guys, the price action looks like it's breaking again and well, we have a structure. Do we have a structure break? Let's start over there. So let's, we'll talk about that in this video. That's, that's why this video is being made because um, AMD was, you know, trying to stay bullish, but then today's candle, the way it has come, really is showing a lot of weakness and i think this time it may not be able to get out of it so i'll talk about all of that once i let you know none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes so let's start off with i want to show you actually yes amd has is falling right yes it's it's falling however if i show you my day trading bot it was still able to take advantage of this little bit of rebound that came and you can see we are still profitable in the day so again that data is on the left side as well you can see these today's buy and sell signals also that came but anyways if you need access to my tools links are in the description below all right so now what what is this structure that i'm saying that amd is running into as if breaking and again maybe much more downside is going to come so let's start off the last time where i was looking for the structure break and that was at 162 dollars area right this area and that's where i tried to play short last time but it didn't work out structure became bullish again by getting about 162 and 58 cents ran into where the same supply zone at almost 170 dollars so this is what you know where the sub sellers are just not letting it go out of this range and this one is proven again right the supply zone and so the way it's knocked down today actually is you can see uh, we lost that you know uptrend off of the trend line right and then once we gapped lower below 200 hours moving average as well any rebound that came it just got rejected at that 200 hours moving average and that you know underneath resistance and we have been just falling so Technically, yeah, guys, the structure is bearish on AMD now, at least on intraday. We have already started doing that. But and also, well, on the daily interval, it's it's weak. The way the wick has also come is showing me that it is bearish. And since it has broken below again that $160 range, guys, it is bearish now. As if we continue to break below 50 days moving average and if we continue lower, yeah this can come down to now 158 dollars and 90 cents and this time if we lose this then we are watching 151. i would like to see if it magnate itself down towards 200 days moving average but most likely looks like it's gonna do that if amd wants to stay bullish or turn to and i don't i'm not opening any short position here right now because i i may be interested if we start to lose 158 and 90 cents this time because amd has been really choppy in this zone so i want to see tomorrow as well if tomorrow amd shows a green body and takes out the today's red body things may start to go back up again all right that's why this is so problematic because this is being sandwiched between sellers and buyers here so for the full confirmation you can see it's getting a little bit bought back up at 50 days moving average for the full confirmation, I want to see it finally break below 50 days moving average and start ticking out this 158 and 92 cents area. And if tomorrow, wow, look at the candle, it's just getting bought back up. So, but anyways, if today we close above 20 days moving average, or not just today, but even tomorrow, you can expect another run back up to $170 again, and then we'll see how supplies on reacts. So the structure is weak it is fluctuating between getting bearish or staying bullish but i just provided you what we want to see in the candle close and for this reason as you can see it's getting bought back up i don't want to open any short position today i want to see if this continues to break lower and for that i want to see it close below 50 days moving average and at this time i would want to see it break below 158 and 87 cents area for much further downside otherwise i'll just let it fly here however it wants to do and but that would be it guys so yeah structure on intraday is already bearish well at least for today it was but yeah the bot still was able to take the opportunity of the rebound i showed you that and um yeah but at this point the the full structure bullish is hard to say on amd and uh yeah it's it's weaker 
trying to turn fully bearish the structure and it all comes down to if it continues to stay lower and that's why i want to give it tomorrow as well another day if it's just a fake out and it want to continue higher um, but not right now i would want to if tomorrow we can get about 164 i mean i gave you that level right let's say 162 and 62 since if tomorrow we get above this or even start to get above it tomorrow this may start to look a little bit strong again but then final confirmation for the intraday long play will be about 164 and 90 cents if you can get above that then some upside maybe come again but anyways that's amd you know um yeah it's it's weaker but it's not fully bearish you can see the structure is trying to hold and when i started the video it was looking like yep it's gonna dip but you can see it's getting bought back up that's why I give it a day another day and let's see what the candle does if it starts to again <laughs> get back up or it's gonna go lower but anyways you have the levels 50 days moving average break below that otherwise above 20 days moving average may start to go up again all right this is it for this video and if you found it helpful valuable hit the like subscribe if you need access to my tools links are in the description below and with that i'll see my next videos guys take care bye oh guys you know what while we are here why not just take a look at nvidia as well i did a video on this in the morning already but i want to show you what has happened since then so let's go to the hourly interval and so what i was talking about is as long as we stay now above this level of you know 121 and 50 cents area this is where i was talking about as well we'll just stay bullish and we have been going up and up from there and if i show you again my day trading bot let's see what has happened since then yeah we have second sell as well like the take profit partial profit target net profitable you can see the data on the left side and yeah got a good play into the rebound on nvidia as well here cool all right yeah um that's that all right guys well yes yeah, still looking strong nvidia um you know as i said in check out my video on nvidia that i did that will tell you everything that you need to know but that would be this uh, recent like 125 and 59 cents is almost looks like it's want to get to up there all-time high structure on nvidia is still bullish the full on full on higher lows higher high still let's see how high can it go buy the pullbacks with the stop loss on the other side take the partial profits along the journey all right guys yes see you in the next videos bye